Evaluate the normalization integral in equation 2215, which is, uh, this is equation 2215. So uh, we need to figure out this root pi 2 to the n and factorial when n and m are the same. We know that these are orthogonal. I already proved in the previous question this relationship that when they're different, uh, the Hermite poly polynomials are indeed orthogonal. Um, uh, over the weighted function e to the minus x squared. Okay, so we're going to use 20. So this uh, there's a hint here. Use 2212 for one of the hn factors. That's the definition of the Hermite polynomials. And then we will integrate by parts and we'll use one of the recursion formulas for the Hermite polynomials. And then hopefully if we do this all over again, we'll be able to get the results. So uh, let me show you how uh, I would approach this. So we'll start right from the beginning okay um, uh, the uh, if if there if n equals m then this becomes a f if this bad kind of gives me a chance to adjust here so this is chapter 12 and section 22 okay so when they're equal this integral becomes minus infinity to plus infinity e to the minus x squared uh, times h so here h n equal h m i will avoid uh, the x in here just because it's gonna get cluttered but uh, please understand that each one of these hermite polynomials is indeed a function of x okay so this is a square dx Okay. Okay, now uh, I am going to uh, use, uh, so this is the same thing as minus infinity to plus infinity e to the minus x squared. Now, uh, hn by definition is, I was looking for the formula here, actually, I apologize, that's what that delay was for, uh, minus 1 to the n, uh, e to the x squared, so I'm replacing one of hn, Hermite polynomials with, with its definition, dn over d, xn so this is the nth derivative of e to the minus x squared so this is one hn and then there's obviously uh, another hn okay uh, okay now uh, uh, obviously these two cancel out um, and uh, and then I forgot the dx yeah and then we have this is equal minus 1 to the n minus infinity plus infinity h n d n nth derivative of e to the minus x squared dx okay so here I will invoke integration by parts integration by parts um, and with integration by parts uh, whoever is not familiar with it, it's the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. So uh, this here will be my uh, uh, u and this here will be my dv. Okay. So if I uh, repeatedly apply this, so this is going to become minus 1 to the n. Okay, so uv, so okay, let's actually, uh, let me actually, before I do that, 
let me write here what uh, v and u are so du so if u is h to the n right then du is obviously h prime n of x and uh, h prime n is uh, using one of the recursion formulas which is i'll tell you which one it's uh, equation a, a 2217a so this is equal to 2n h n minus 1 of x And if dv is the nth derivative of e to the minus x squared, to get v, I would have to integrate that. And that means I have to go back to the derivative before that one, right? Because if I were to differentiate the derivative before that one, I would get this one. So in other words, I need to drop one below the n and take the nth minus one derivative there's a dx here with respect to x, dx n minus 1, e to the minus x squared. Okay. So those are just cons two consecutive derivatives. v is the first derivative, uh, quote unquote first, n minus 1 derivative, and then dv is the derivative after that. And now I can apply. So now going back to the integral, so if we call this If we call this i here, so I don't have to keep writing it, what we're trying to get. So now i becomes minus 1 to the n, open bracket, uv. So this is uh, hn hmm? nth minus 1 derivative hn uv. Uh, minus so, and this is evaluated from minus infinity to plus infinity minus the integral of v du so this is going to be 2n h n minus 1 Okay, now notice that um, uh, the uh, the first term will uh, at minus infinity and plus infinity right, uh, will go to zero. The reason being is because uh, every time you differentiate e to the minus x squared you're going to get a factor of e to the minus x squared. Um, and at the end of the day, you're going to have however n minus 1 e to the minus x squared terms because every time we're, you're taking the derivative and uh, e to the minus x squared tends to go to 0 at infinity and at minus infinity because it's a Gaussian distribution that goes like this. So on both sides of the x-axis, it, it goes down to zero so this first term completely drops out and we are left with the second term so I have minus 2n so let me bring this minus 2n out here yeah. and then Okay, now notice if I were to repeat integration by parts here, I will get a very similar answer to the one before, except that I'm dropping down uh, one less uh, derivative. So in other words, uh, if, if I were again to call this u and this dv, then this integral becomes minus 1 to the n minus 2n and then u v so so u is just h n minus one 
and v so now i'm dropping further another derivative so i go n minus 2 over dx n minus 2 of e to the minus x squared uv okay and again this is from minus infinity to plus infinity and for the same exact reason i explained this goes to zero because the exponential drops out because you have e to the minus x squared in the answer uh, minus the integral of v du so v now is and du is uh, so du is h prime of n minus one but using that recursion formula i drop back e uh, one further because remember the derivative of the Hermite polynomial always brings you back uh, brings you down one on the end so in other words uh, now this is gonna be mm, this is gonna be if so you have it so if you call it n minus 1k let me let me do it here on the side so it doesn't get confusing so if we call k n minus 1 right so now we have hk and i'm looking for uh, uh, h prime k so this will be 2k so so this will here will be 2k times h of k minus 1 right by the recursion formula so you drop back on the k now if you put the n back uh, and then uh, the other term is uh, just the uh, v du u v minus integral of uh, u v minus integral of v du okay so v is again is d and so now this is this is the this is two derivatives down because if you were to differentiate n minus one you go to n minus two you go to n minus one right so this is gonna be uh, dx n minus 2 e to the minus x squared dx okay now uh, so this is this will become i okay so k is n minus 1 so this is gonna become minus 2 times uh, n minus 1 and this is going to become h k minus 1 so that's n minus 2 so you notice I dropped from Hermite polynomial n to n minus 1 to n minus 2 right and uh, of course there's an integral here and then d n minus 2 over dx n minus 2 e to the minus x squared dx okay now uh, I showed you a couple times how to do this so if I repeat this process indefinitely okay to n steps so I started at n we will get uh, so if I repeat this indefinitely, we will get uh, to n steps, right? Every time we're going back, n, n, n. So if n is a hundred, by the time I get to uh, n to to n minus hundred, I'll get a zero. So then my integral will become minus one to the n. Okay. Now notice here, every time I have uh, a minus two, right? So this is going to be, a mi I'm getting a minus 2 factor here every time because the next one will be minus 2 times n minus 2. So, uh, so that means this is going to be minus 2 to the n. And notice I'm getting n on the first term here. Uh, so on the second term, uh, I'm getting n minus 1. On the third, I'm going to get n minus 2, n minus 3, all the way to n. So this is going to be n factorial. 
on factorial and then uh, once I drop down to uh, n times so this is gonna be h0 right there's because you're subtracting n from itself so you're gonna get h0 and then e to the minus x squared dx right because uh, when you drop down the last the uh, the nth derivative or or when you go n derivatives you're going to get to the zero derivative which is the original function e to the minus x squared okay now we know that this is one right h zero is one and uh, all we're left with is uh, minus one to the n minus 2 to the n and factorial and now uh, rather than going from minus infinity to infinity I will go from 0 to infinity and multiply by 2 this is an even function so it's symmetric on both sides of the y-axis so I can do that just take twice the area from one side okay so uh, now this is uh, gonna be uh, so we have uh, minus right minus one to the n from here and i can pull i can pull a minus one to the n from here and make this two to the n so minus one to the n times minus one to the n will give me minus one to the two n which is one so that goes away then i have my two to the n and then n factorial right and then um uh, and then we have uh, this is equal to root pi over 2 but there's a 2 so this becomes root pi so therefore we have proved that the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of e to the minus x squared h n x squared dx is equal to 2 to the n n factorial times root pi. That's when n equals m. That does it for uh, this proof.